Hello my schoolers, this is my school channel where we are tackling the 2018 jam pass question for biology. In this clip, we'll be solving questions 41 to 60. So right now, let's tackle question 41. The yellowish colored liquid component of blood that normally holds the blood cells in suspension is what okay we know that the plasma is a pale yellow liquid okay portion of the blood and it's majorly made up of water okay and we can roughly estimate that the plasma makes up about 55 percent roughly about 55 percent of the blood so scanning through our options together we'll give it to b option b plasma is the correct option Question 42. The function of pith in plants is what? Okay. The pith, option B now. The pith or medulla is a tissue in the stems of vascular plants. Pith is composed of soft, spongy parachyma cells which stores and transports nutrients throughout the plant. Okay. So basically, the function of pith in the con context of um, options provided for us okay it stores and transports uh, water and nutrients throughout the plant so option b is correct question 43 a pollutant that is mostly associated with acid rain is nitrogen oxides okay this is when um, nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxide are being released into the atmosphere due to the activities of man okay so Going by the options we are giving, the correct option here is option A. Remember that the link in the description below is made available so that you can get any of the MySchool tools. All you just have to do is to click on the link. It takes you to the MySchool website where there are enough information for you on how you can get the MySchool mobile app or the MySchool software. So join me as we tackle question 44. What is the function of contractor vacuole in paramecium? This is just for osmo regulation. So when we scan through our options to get option D is correct to get rid of excess water for regulation of water content in the paramecium. So don't forget that you have to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get updated as soon as the next videos are released. Question 45. An organism which exhibits extracellular digestion is what? Okay, in this uh, provision of options that we have, the correct answer is D, the rhizopods. Okay, just like um, inside the human, too, so the food we're taking in, enzymes are released on it, okay, so that it can be broken down to smaller molecules which can be absorbed. Okay, so going by the definition or description of extracellular digestion option d is very correct number 46 how many days is used for incubation of an egg to release chick okay this just takes um 21 days so option a is very correct question 47 the four classes of synodarian include the following except words okay so their classes are the anthozoans the skiphozoans the cubozoans the hydrozoans okay to valeria that is for free living flatworms okay mostly free living flatworms so the correct option is option a as an exception remember that all you have to do to ask your questions right now and get solutions within moments is just to click on the link in the description below that takes you to the my school website where the several solution providers are waiting for you okay so let's tackle question 48 looking at the diagram what would happen if solution y okay is more concentrated than solution x in this figure that we have here so going by osmosis okay so you will see that the solution y the level of in, in solution y would rise and x will fall going by osmosis if the reverse case is what we have that is is if um x is more concentrated than y then the level of x will rise and that of y will fall so but right now we are told that 
y is more concentrated so the level of y will rise and the level of x will fall so option d is very correct perhaps you have a better explanation or solutions to any of the questions we have tackled so far please would like to know all you just have to do is to use the comment section below indicate the question number and the solution or steps you would like to share question 49 Physiological adaptation to very dry conditions in animal demonstrate what? Okay, this demonstrates estivation. Okay, examples, uh, we can see examples with uh, long fish, snails, and what have you. Hibernation is just um, the other side, that is for winter period. Okay, then xeromorphism, that's by xerophyte, the adaptive um, ability. Okay, so then rejuvenation, ability to. Um, to revert uh, aging okay the cells become younger again and on and on goes the circle so the correct option to the question we have here is option c estivation question 50 the hormones secreted by pancreas serves to do what okay this is just um this whole thing is talking about regulation of blood sugar level or blood uh, glucose level okay the secretion of insulin or glucagon so looking at the question we are given and the options provided so we we'll just pick option c to lower blood glucose level option c is correct question 51 blood circulation in a mammal is said to be double because option a it passes twice through the heart in a to form a complete circuit or in a complete circuit so option a is very correct 52 examples of animals with mammary glands include the following except okay you can see that um, the goats breastfeed it uh, young ones the goat the same thing the pigs too but for n you don't see that happening so the correct option here is option d let's tackle question 53 the hygrometer is used for measuring option A, relative humidity. Okay, for specific gravity, we use hydrometer. For rainfall, we use rain gauge. And for salinity, we use salinometer. Okay, so option A is very correct. Remember that you can be well prepared for your coming exams. All you just have to do is to click on the link in the description below that takes you to the My School website where you have enough information on how you can get the MySQL mobile app or the MySQL software. Right now we are tackling question 54. Mineral salts can be absorbed into the roots by what process? Okay, We know that um, by osmosis, okay, water from the soil is being absorbed by the root earth. Okay? Then mineral salts cannot just be absorbed by simple diffusion alone okay and that is why active transport is involved so the viable option here to the question we are given is option c so don't forget that you have to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get informed as soon as the next videos are released question 55 which is an animal without red blood cells okay so the correct option here is earthworm because it is able to breathe through its skin surface okay and due to its um, relatively less active um, style of living okay so the oxygen is taken from the environment is enough for its sustenance so we can see comfortably that b for earthworm is the correct option question 56 the temporary union of two organisms and the exchange of micronuclear elements is called what this is a very accurate or close definition of conjugation okay so we will take option a as the most viable option to this question so the correct option is a for emphasis here we have um, question 57 a plant tissue that carries water and mineral salts is the xylem okay 
the xylem conducts um, water and mineral salts from the roots to the leaves and other parts of the plants, okay? While the phloem, okay, conducts uh, manufactured food from the leaves, okay, to the other parts of the plant, okay, for assimilation, and if there is excess, for storage. So the correct option here is option A. Don't forget that you can ask your questions right now. All you just have to do is to click the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website where our several solution providers are waiting to help you out. So right now, we are tackling question 58. Which of the following relationships involves only one organism? Okay, the correct option is saprophytism. That um, when you see certain kind of organisms like uh, cheese mold, like your mushroom and what have you, okay, they live off or get energy or their food from dead or decaying matter. So option A is very correct. In case you have better explanations or solutions to any of the questions we have tackled so far, please we would like to know. All you just have to do is to use the comment section below, indicate the question number and the solutions or explanations you would like to share. Question 59. Which parts provide food for the developing chick? Okay, so at first we have to identify the parts in the diagram here. Yeah, okay, so we have the shell, okay, this is the airspace, this is the chalaza, okay, this is the chalaza here, yeah? this is the yolk, alright, this is the germinal dix or the blast dix, okay, um, this makes um, the abomen, okay, this is the white of the egg, this is the yolk once again, and this is the shell, so we assume that this is pointing towards the airspace, so which of these parts supply or provide food for developing chick? It is the part three, which is the yolk, and the part four, which is the hapumen. So three and four. Option C is very correct. Question 60. The outer membrane that covers the brain is what? Okay, so uh, you see this, um, the dura mater, the arachnoid membrane, the pear mater, they all come together to make up the meninges. Okay, that's the protective... Uh, layer of protective membrane for the brain okay so but yeah the question specifies that the outer membrane so of these three that come together to form the meninges the outermost one is the dura mater okay so that means option b is very correct we've come to the end of this clip but there are more segments to come I believe you are enjoying this content and you would like us to bring you more of them. All you just have to do is to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get informed as soon as the next videos are uploaded.